Holy moly. Would you believe that this morning turned into this? Oh my God, winter is here. <sighs> All these lights are such a thrill and so is the electric bill at Christmas, Christmas. Bing Crosby is a liar who roasts chestnuts on a fire at Christmas, Christmas. Test, 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 test. Is this giving anyone else deja vu to Vermont? Highly recommend that. So the most popular question I'm always getting, always, is how far have you gone? And it requires me to always, before I had, before I had this little device, before I had this, I always had to give this same 60 second little pitch, throw it on. All right, so the first time I ever had a fully loaded touring bike was on the border of Virginia and Kentucky day one of the Trans America Trail with Dark Roast right here. We rode across America, went to Colorado and ended up eventually in Oregon where I took the train to British Columbia. And when I had my bike there, I was like, wow. I cannot believe I made it across the country. From British Columbia, I went down the 1800 miles plus or minus of the West Coast, which is just laid back, cool vibes, beaches. But I was a little, um, it was a lot. So then we went to Alaska. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Sleeping under Denali, who can ask for that? Then Alice and I did Miles of Portrait Southwest, which I'm editing right now, which was very cool desert from Desert to two inches of snow, couldn't believe that happened in one trip, and then also put Dark Roast on a plane to end that trip, where Annalisa then biked up to Colorado. What? And then this year, seven months in, in India. Ah, <sighs> but, but I've always wanted something a bit more concrete, something I can actually share. Santa, won't you bring me something good this year? Now that's gonna change with this Wahoo Roam, this bike GPS, my first GPS. But there are three main reasons why I was hesitant to get a GPS that I think this solved. And it's mainly just having gear that can keep up with me. One, it's gotta be all weatherproof. We're talking from dealing with cold, snowy, rainy conditions to hot desert, Humid conditions. Hey Matt, how hot that hot tub? 104 degrees. Oh, perfect. It's gotta be able to survive that. Two, it's got to be easy to charge. Bike Taurus will take up all of your outlets when they arrive you'll be able to spot them in a restaurant because they'll be plugging everything in now being a filmmaker on top of that i got camera batteries i got my diabetes stuff i got my lights i have it all it's got to be able to fit right in three it's got to keep me from getting lost and it's nice if it integrates really seamlessly with your iphone or any smartphone i was riding out with my friend scott ruderman who's making a documentary and we were looking for a bakery. We were looking for that post meal snack and we asked some locals for recommendations, typed it into my phone, and all of a sudden, as if by magic, it was there on my Wahoo and I love that. It's just very, very easy to use. All right, a little behind the scenes here is that this bottle I was leaning the Wahoo against for that shot. This is an old infant food glass bottle from Boston, which I thought was awesome. But with Dark Roast right here, attaching to your bike is crucial and staying on no matter what. And the Wahoo for bike tourists, since we usually have our handlebar bags that have our um, maps and food and my camera fits in up here. There is a Wahoo stem attachment that comes. It uses two zip ties so that's easy, stays right in 
the center you can read it with the really large screen and then over on my road bike now that I'm home there is a Wahoo attachment that places about two or three inches in front of the handlebar that just uses a screw um, so those are really sturdy tidy and both come with the unit we're going to obliterate those totals in just this one storm today, and, and it really is going to be a doozy of a storm. So let me step out of the picture and show you what's going on. So first of all, the snow is quickly developing really fast, rapidly across Virginia. Snow is already knocking on the door of Washington, D.C. Just look at how fast this all kind of fills in. We have some ice mixed in on the southern side, even into parts of North Carolina. So we have cold air wedging its way down the east side of the Appalachians. And at the same time, we have snow breaking out across the Ohio Valley. Two different storms, one here. We're, we're on a little race against the clock with the storm coming in, but I wanted to show you, um, show you a view of New York City from my hometown. Have you been outside lately? Those leaves sure are changing. Reminds me of that time we spent hours carving faces. Making jack-o'-lanterns light up in the night It's an image that's ingrained inside my mind Well, that year's been waiting Walking empty paper I got by just fine Didn't notice what was fake Now the fallen leaves that echo out your name Fill the space of you the same. I'm still falling out of love with you. Miss it. Miss being home here. <sighs> All right, Trey around the corner. Not sure if I'll go through. Memories that take so long to erase Will they ever even start to fade? Alrighty, coffee and a view of New York. Who can complain? It has been a long time since I have been up here and that's what I actually kind of love about the Wahoo is that it encourages me to get out while I'm home. I didn't show you all this but can you really complain when your gear makes you feel like a superhero? This is the Wahoo ticker, this is the heart rate monitor and it makes me feel like Iron Man and that's what I love about it is when I'm home in between trips it's just great to work in those half an hour workouts, those 45 minute workouts. It's good for anyone that is stuck at home working, but also because I live with type 1 diabetes, it's really, really good for my blood sugar, my overall health and wellness. But what I do want to touch upon is why I really wanted to pick up a GPS unit was to encourage you all. and show you that in between trips this is what I'm doing just getting out for small rides they're not huge or nothing crazy but they just keep me in shape and that's something I really learned from my father he just commutes to the train station in town he used to go into the city now he's been working home in New Jersey but he's always stayed active his entire life and that is why at the age of 63 he did his first triathlon and that's how we can encourage each other. And you'll find that your enthusiasm is the biggest thing that you need. The cycling community is filled with pros and beginners who are just trying to get out. And what I love about competitive cyclists, and thank you for sending me the Wahoo and, and bringing this joy back into my life while I'm home, is that they're online tech support is incredible. They are an online bike shop there to answer your questions about tires, about gears, about gloves, um, anything. And that's really nice when you're picking out something for yourself or a loved one because you don't need to know everything. There are people there to help you uh, every step of the way. So once again, if you end up picking up something, use code ERIC15 for 15% off your first purchase. Some exclusions do apply. and. And with this snowstorm pending, I should probably sneak off. But thank you, thank you all for being here. And remember that you can go anywhere and do anything. 
And also, if there's any questions I didn't answer about the Wahoo, please leave them below and uh, I'll happily answer them out or help me out. So, all right, peace out. This is a sneaky little pro tip right here. Charge your camera batteries from the external and the phone. So keeping it, keeping it alive in the cold. <laughs>